Here it is hump day because we're about over the hill on this week, headed down to the weekend. So let me make a statement. I think it's a big time biblically supported and many people that claim the name of Jesus are anti-church. So let this sink in. One of the marks of a twice born Christian, which is all Christians are twice born, is that we love one another and the members of the church. 1 John 4.12, if someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This doesn't mean, however, that all of us are lovable by nature. In fact, we're all sinners saved by grace. And we need to take that into account when somebody gets on our last big nerve or hurts our feelings or makes us angry. A church is comprised of people who have finally realized that they are sinners and have band together to make the church and to be a part of something bigger than themselves and to be a part of a community that nurtures them, loves them, and helps them grow and teaches them. This makes the church the only organization I know of besides gangs in which you have to, uh, to profess to be bad before you can join. A lot of gangs say you have to profess to be bad and you have to view bad things. But, you know, your job didn't say, hey, if you're a bad person, come join this job. Well, you know, most jobs. But the job that is reputable, a job that is able to support your family and a job that makes you uh, able to be a proud person of our society never says, hey, how bad are you? Can you be a bad person? The only place you find that is in Christ Jesus where he says, admit that you're a sinner. Ask forgiveness, invite me into your heart, and make me Lord and Savior of your life, and say the sinner's prayer. And yet we Christians are called to love the church, to love those who, like us, are sinners, who have turned our lives over to Jesus Christ. And sometimes we're brought back into the flesh, and sometimes we don't do the right thing, and sometimes we don't pay attention to what we need to pay attention to. Like I've said before, I went looking for the perfect church. I found the perfect church and I joined it and it was perfect no more. None of us are perfect. All of us are sinners saved by grace. God loves me even when I'm unlovable. Should I not love my family members when they are unlovable as well? God's waiting. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then do so now. Ask Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive your sins. Make him Lord and Savior. And say the sinner's prayer. Say it with me, dear Jesus. Please forgive me of my sins. I invite you into my heart and make you Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. And thank you, Lord, for giving me access to not only to heaven, but to your very throne. Through the power of forgiveness and through the power of your love for me, thank you for forgiving me for my past sins, my present sins, and my future sins. In Jesus' name I pray.